Yeah, so I, I think at the highest level, we're definitely product first. So we're not looking to chase any specific bear market. Um, we don't like rush out product because your tokens are pumping or anything like that. I think to a large degree, our product cycle is our product cycle. We're focused on quality and some things just take as long as they take to get right. Um, I think when the bear markets hit, you know, Axie was created in a bear market. So we, we feel comfortable there. We feel at home. In some ways, it's easier to build in a bear market because the people you're engaging with are the true believers. Uh, and when the bull market hits, there's a huge increase in speculators and people that want to come in to try to make a quick profit uh, that might not understand the fundamentals and um, will just dive in head first. Um, I definitely saw during the bull market people buying into SLP thinking it was a governance token, not understanding that it's a game token with an unlimited supply. Um, I got a lot of messages from people saying like, this is unfair. I bought this token thinking that it was a governance token and it would go up. But now that I see how your emissions work, I feel like this isn't fair for me because I don't play the game. And if you pause for a moment, think about how ridiculous that is to be mad about a game emitting game tokens to the actual players of the game and how that's unfair to speculators that don't even play the game that's kind of the point. Uh, that's sort of what the token's supposed to do. Um, so I think bear markets do insulate you from that dynamic at least a little bit. Nothing prevents it completely, but um, people are just a little more diligent and a little slower to act, which I think can be a good thing in a space like this that moves really fast. I think for us, when bear markets hit, it really becomes an opportunity for user education uh, to try mm -hmm. to, to carry people through their first bear market experience. I went through it multiple times. It is really scary. It's hard to look at your investment and go, oh my gosh, I'm down 75%. What am I going to do? Um, and I don't think there is anything that replaces that psychology and getting through that and seeing it recover and um, just experiencing that and having to fight against your own psychology to buy high and sell low, it takes some discipline. It takes some practice. And no matter how much you read and how logical you are, you still have to go through that experience for the first time. Um, it is it is very unique and, and highly emotional. That's, that's the, the hardest part, right? Separating the emotions from the logic in these scary times. So I think um, we really want to use those opportunities to try to educate people. I think we always want to push people to make smart financial decisions and smart investments. You should never you know, take a loan or leverage credit to buy something that is very volatile or risky in nature. You should never put more into crypto than you can afford to lose because all of this is very experimental. We're an alpha by definition. So things are still being designed. Things are still being implemented. Things are still being changed. That's that's part of the roller coaster. And there are big rewards for being an early adopter like everyone that's playing Axie right now. But being an early adopter definitely comes with some additional risks. Uh, because there's just a lot of unknown, right? Things are changing in real time. So it's really important that people remember all of these things um, and don't get caught up in the FOMO of trying to chase a bear market or chase a bull market. So um, we're very slow and steady. I think a, a maxim that we get tossed around the office a lot is this is a marathon, not a sprint. Make sure you don't burn out trying to sprint. We're in this for the long haul. We're, you know, we're building tools from the ground up and we can't lose sight of that. So when in doubt, we, we do tend to, to uh, focus on quality and making sure something is exactly right rather than trying to hit an arbitrary deadline.